Hey, my name is Mike Acosta from ADSR Sounds, and I'm super excited to share with you the latest and greatest from Akai Pro. Now in this video, we're taking a look at a pretty significant update to the MPC line with their latest version 2.3 for the desktop software and firmware update for both the MPC X and MPC Live. Now I have a personal favorite that I'm gonna save for the end, but first and foremost, let's take a look at one of the biggest additions within this update. The new MPC version 2.3 adds in three brand new virtual software instruments. First, there's Baseline, which recreates that vintage sound of classic monosynths, but has some very modernized features, integrated air effects, two built-in distortion algorithms, and over 150 presets. Next is Electric, which emulates the beautiful warm sound of classic electric pianos. You can really sculpt the sound to your liking by utilizing the onboard parameters for noise, bell, envelope, and dedicated pickup. Electric also comes with five built-in air effects and over 80 presets to start laying down soulful keys. The third instrument is an emulation of vintage analog polysynths called tube synth. This polysynth was developed by the company Air and is based on the same analog modeling technology found in their desktop synth plugin, Vacuum Pro, which is actually a really cool virtual synth. The tube synth features a flexible three oscillator design with two unison engines and the ability to customize the harmonic content of oscillator two. So you get really fat low end or really unique upper frequency tones. Other features include a variable sloped low pass filter, polyphonic glide, filter and amp envelopes, dual LFOs, ring modulation, and five air effects that include reverb, delay, chorus, the height EQ, and a compressor. Now these three new instrument plugins are not just part of the desktop software, but in fact run in the MPC-X and MPC Live standalone hardware units without the need for a computer. The MPC now has a fully integrated arpeggiator with a few unique modes of operation. First, you have the standard ARP functions by holding down a chord, which then allows you to choose between multiple patterns such as up, down, random, and of course the octave range for typical arpeggiations. Note repeat. Now this operates the same as it always has on a traditional MPC when used for triggering triplet hi-hats and so forth. Rhythm. This operates similar to the traditional arpeggiation mode where you hold down a chord, but instead it plays the held notes in a rhythmic pattern. What's really great is that you can use the spread field to spread the timing of the notes, which creates a nice glissando effect. And finally, there's the pattern mode. Now this allows you to hold down a single note, which then triggers a melodic phrase. This function is great for inspiration because as you change held notes, the melody gets transposed, which can lead to some really creative chord progressions to follow. Crossfade looping with real-time control has now been added to sample playback within the 2.3 update. You can access this function under the sample edit menu and then pressing the crossfade button on the screen. Make sure loop lock is off and simply set the loop type to forward. You can enter in values for the crossfade, choose between linear or equal power fade types, and then by pressing pad A16, hear the results in real time. This new addition will be great for fine tuning loop points within a sample such as a drum loop or individual samples within a key grouped instrument. A much welcome addition to the MPC hardware and software is the support for plugin instruments and plugin effect presets. In the new 2.3 update, you can now load and even save plugin presets. There are a number of third-party VST plugins that contain preset banks the Akai MPC can read. In this particular scenario, the MPC populates the preset list from that plugin. Whatever custom settings you make can now be saved directly from the MPC, from within the Program Editor toolbar for instrument presets or within the Insert Effect Editor for plugin effects. To top this all off, factory presets have now been added for all the internal Akai effects as well. 
This feature will definitely improve the production workflow on the MPC. You can now easily split node events with version 2.3. This is really useful when you want to create intricate hi-hat patterns or special motifs or drum beats that have special timing on certain hits. The traditional way of using note repeat in real time while you record is great, but this is a much faster way to go back and edit notes to add triplets or quintuplets on certain sections without having to re-record parts. Personally, I found this very useful when sequencing vocal chops as I can come up with some crazy variations that I normally would not have been able to play in real time. Now this is my absolute favorite new feature in version 2.3, being that I am a sound designer as well as a producer. The MPC version 2.3 now has an auto sampler function that makes the process of converting your favorite presets from any virtual software instrument or hardware synth into an MPC key group program super simple and fast. Within the auto sampler page, you can set it up to capture the current instrument plugin loaded on a track from within the desktop MPC software. Alternatively, the MPC-X and MPC-Live standalone units can both be set to capture any external hardware synthesizers you may have. The MPC Auto Sampler can sample up to four velocity layers with the ability to configure the note range, note stride, note length, tail, set loop modes with start and end points, and auto crossfades with two crossfade types. This is such a huge feature to the MPC and I'm really excited about it as I've already been sampling some of my favorite external hardware and software synthesizers. With this new feature in the MPC-X, this now allows me to have a dedicated hardware unit to sample my favorite synthesizers in a matter of minutes. Even though the format is for Akai's MPC line, you can always use a translation app to convert it to another format. My hat goes off to Akai for this one. Now on the desktop software only, version 2.3 adds new MIDI maps for popular MIDI controllers from manufacturers such as Ableton, Arturia, Korg, M-Audio, and Native Instruments. There's also been some enhancements to the Q-Link navigation. Within the grid and audio editors, when Q-Links are in screen mode, you can now use Q-Link number two to move the playhead. Q-Link 3 to scroll the viewport, and Q-Link 4 to control the zoom. And finally, there's also been an addition by adding a shortcut to the mode selection. This is a really cool little workflow improvement. By holding down the menu button, you can tap a pad to easily select the mode you would like to enter. The pads follow the same 4x4 layout on the actual mode menu screen. This is a small enhancement, but a bunch of these small improvements lead to a much bigger and better workflow experience on the MPC. As you can see, the all new version 2.3 for MPC adds some really significant features. You have the tube synth, the arpeggiator, of course my favorite, the auto sampler, along with all of the other workflow improvements. You can really see that Akai is listening to their customers and really merging the best of both worlds, the computer and the hardware all in one. And I think that's just really great. Hopefully they keep developing on the Akai MPC line because I'm really looking forward to additional features and I absolutely love working on the MPC-X. And don't forget that ADSR also has an exclusive MPC-X expansion called Urban Escapade and you can actually purchase that over at the Akai web store. As always, don't forget to click the subscribe button below so that you're constantly up to date with all the latest and greatest, everything and anything ADSR. My name is Mike Acosta from ADSR Sounds. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.